Why was you letting this lady beat, holler, and slobber on your window like that? Oh, I ain't even gonna say anxiety be having me. I be having anxiety. We be having each other. We be holding each other arm in arm. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. I'm your favorite girl, Diva. If you are new to my channel, you're most definitely welcome. If you're not new to my channel and you a day one, stay one, what's good with what it do? You already know what it is. But if you are new, back to you. Before we go any further into this video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It's free 99. Go ahead and do that for me right now. It's skin 30. I'll wait. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, give it a thumbs up so you don't miss out on when I go live, post, or upload. Now, as you see in the title down below, honey, we finna get into a good old session. Now that we got the church announcements out the way, if you got a vape, a joint, a bong, a blunt, or a rig, and you are of age or living in a legal state, or have a medical card, let's go ahead and get lit, girl. Cheers. Let me make, she t let me make sure she turned all the way up because I like to, <coughs> okay? I like to... <coughs> I also got some cranberry juice right here because I'm a fancy queen. Girl, we ain't got nothing to talk about. We don't got nothing to talk about. Nothing. Nathan. Literally Nathan. Cheers. Alright, so now that we up and running, let's talk about the movie Leave the World Behind because I got some things to talk about. Have y'all seen the movie Leave the World Behind? Because if you have it, I don't know why you have it. We about to get into it. Comment down below if you've seen the movie. Comment down below what you rate the movie or if you even like the movie. I like the movie. I didn't start off liking it because it was giving, it was boring. I was like, okay. And my thing is... Let me see what I got. This is modified muffins from Cure Leaf. It's 27% THC, and this is a hybrid. I'm not sure if it's more sativa or indica leaning, but it, we gonna figure that, girl. Also, I have a cruise. Ah! Y'all, I meant to tell y'all this. I have a cruise coming up in literally four days. I'm screeching, and I know my my neighbors can't stand me. I know they can't. Sorry, sorry, y'all. Sorry, my bad. Hello. Actually, y'all, I can't stand y'all because they be up there stomping and munching, but back to leave the world behind. Story, first of all, let me say this. They really wanted to play on people's, this is what really I had to center myself because I get I don't, I ain't even gonna say anxiety be having me. I be having anxiety. We be having each other. We be holding each other arm in arm. Stuff like this, because I know the fact that this can literally happen in real life. I need to watch it because I need to put myself through these scenarios. And after watching a movie like Leave the World Behind, I'm like, okay, we need an emergency plan off rip. Cause the minute my phone stopped working, I'm going to need to, because when it happens now, I'm like, okay, why is my phone not working? What's wrong with my phone? Okay. If I think, girl, now that I've seen that, the other day, my phone just had zero service. It was out of nowhere. When I tell you I was so shook, I was going to freak out, because the only thing I thought about was the movie. That movie. And... I was like, literally, I was like, okay, this is perfect. Because the way I had calmed myself down, I was like, don't worry about it. Just calm down and go back home. If your phone don't work, go back home. And because in my head, go home. That's it. Go home. So, yeah, girl, let's just go ahead and I done said all that to say nothing. I don't even know what I just said. This is hitting. So, <laughs> let's go ahead and get right into the movie review. Leave the world behind. <sighs> So, okay, let me go ahead and take another pump and we just gonna jump right into this view. So, 
so starting off the movie we start off the movie with um this white family this lady named amanda the dude name is clay they're married they have two kids one daughter named rosie and a son named clay he's the not clay girl i think the son is named charlie but his name don't really matter we're gonna call him snaggletooth because his teeth got knocked out in the end and, and rightfully so because the way he was talking to his sister i didn't like it because i was like why is he so mean to her like he really for whatever reason had it out for his sister and i did not like that so we start off with this family the wife like wakes up super super early the husband is waking up and he's like what are you doing because he wakes up to her like packing he probably thought she was gonna leave like did you do something have you done something lately <laughs> you're stressed <laughs> Because what he woke up and was like, girl, where you going? What you doing? What you packing for? Where you go where you going? So she was like, I booked the Airbnb and I booked it today. So you don't got no time to say no. Everybody, let's go. Get in the car. So they out. Mind you, they live in the city. The Airbnb, I believe, is um Long Island. I'm not mistaken if I'm not mistaken. I feel like this not really giving what it could give, which is why I'm double fisting this vape. We gonna see one more time. We gonna. All right now, we gonna still blow you. We gonna still blow you. So they get in the car and head to the Airbnb out of outside of the city. On their way outside of the city, the kids in the back seat, homeboy got his headphones in doing whatever he's doing, the little boy in the back seat, snaggle to. His little sister Rosie is sitting next to him. She's watching friends on her laptop or her um iPad. The mom is on the phone talking to her publicist or whoever, whoever, and the dad is driving. So meanwhile, halfway there, her uh, I guess Netflix, I think she's watching friends on Netflix. I don't know nothing about no friends, girl. I'm a I'm a living single girl. We are living single. Ooh, ain't like this kind of world. I'm glad. I... Okay, yeah. I ain't never watched Friends a day in my life, and I'm I'm okay with that. I might one day, but I just remember her asking her dad, like, could he take her to the Friends set when they get back? And he was like, I don't think the set is a real place. Da 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 da. Now that's the first thing, like that's the first ding, ding, ding. I don't think that's a real place. Got you, her. We didn't really think about it, but we heard it. It came in, you know, went out, you know, right. Okay, no biggie. So her Netflix kind of lags. She just cuts it off because it doesn't end up working again. So They arrive to the Airbnb, they unpack, get settled, and later they decide to go to the beach. So while they're at the beach, girl, they are chilling, mom is reading, dad doing his thing, the kids just at the beach, at the beach, right? So the little girl is looking and she sees a plane coming. And the plane is just getting closer and closer. And she go, Ma, do this plane look a little weird to you? She ain't say the exact type thing, but you know, Something something like that and the mom is looking and then the dad is looking and then the little boy is looking Then everybody on the beach is looking and the plane is just getting closer and closer and closer 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 no neo so I'm like so y'all really just gonna stand there and watch this plane get closer and closer and closer and closer like when are y'all gonna move so they just watch the plane. They literally watch the plane hit the beach. They move enough for the plane to like hit the beach. The plane like crashes into the beach, causes like a whole just scene. And planes, they don't know this, but planes have been crashing everywhere, 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 everywhere. And like, there's like a huge power outage. There's a danger to the city. They, they don't know this at the time though. And they just head back home. They head back home and the TV and the Wi-Fi stops working. So they really don't have nothing to do. And in the middle of the night, they get a knock on the door. 
So they open the door and there's two niggas outside. I know that's what they was thinking in their head. I know that's what they was thinking in their head. The man opened the door and he's, hey, yeah, how you doing? It was very much that. So I will say this. One thing I could not stand about Clay, the white dad, was this could be my toxic trait. This could be my toxic behavior, but I need my man to be a man, period. I don't need you to be wiggling and quivering at anything and if you're scared I don't care if you're scared I don't need to know it I don't need to know you're scared hey y'all this is editing diva from the future I just wanted to elaborate when I was talking about the husband how he was just like such a pansy I didn't like how he went into town and didn't really even go into town he was supposed to go into town and try to get some more information about what was going on and he got so scared that he bust the Yui. He didn't even go into town, girl. He got so scared that he bust the Yui and started heading back towards um, the Airbnb. He was just pretty much driving, doing nothing. He did not go into town. He didn't do anything. He's a waste of space. In my head, I'm just like, Ugh, I don't know if I'm toxic. I don't know if he has the right to be scared because we all don't know what's going on. But... Especially, okay, and here's another instance. He pulls up on the side of the road for this lady. This lady speaking Spanish a mile a minute. Now, either you're going to put the lady in the car, you're going to pull your phone out and use Google Translate if you can, or you're going to let the window up and go on about your business. So why was you letting this lady beat, holler, and slobber on your window like that? Because that was giving me very much, okay, now she's about to rob you. It was like, what is she saying, first of all? Now, I, I can speak Espanol. I habla Espanol un poquito, okay? Now, I was like, why the fuck they didn't put no subtitles on this hoe? Why, they not, why did they not put subtitles across the screen so we can know, for the dumb folks can know what's going on? Because I can't hear that fast. <laughs> I don't know what that lady was saying, but I know what Ayuda man means. I know what Ayuda, Ayuda, Ayuda. She needed a telephone. She couldn't find nobody. She needed to get back to her family. I think that's what she said. But yeah, I was just like, now what kind of pansy ass mother effer is you? You supposed to be going out trying to figure out if you could trying to see what you could see. You supposed to be leaving the house, getting in the car, trying to see what you could see, going into town because the lady saw this dude. Which he was a mother effer. This man was a mother effer. Mind you, you got every right. This your stuff. I will blow your leg off if you step a foot closer to my house. Gone. Get. It. Now, he didn't have to help that man. He didn't have to put them through the struggle that they did if you were going to help them in the long run. That's for sure. The movie was a mess, girl. The movie was a beautiful mess. Period. No Erica. I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> now, the man... Clay gave me every bit of the husband from Us. If you've seen the movie from Jordan Peele, Us, that husband pissed me off too. I, who's out there? I have a bat and I'll use it. Boy, if you don't get your mouth, that's it. I'm gonna just say that. So he opens the door and the guy explains that this is his Airbnb. I'm renting it out. This is actually my house. The guy, the nigga that's on the porch, his name is GH. George. H Washington, but his they, he said you could call him GH. He has his daughter with her. Her name is Ruth. I think her name is Ruth. So they own this house, but it's very. It it came off as like so weird. It put you in the mindset of like, do these niggas own this house? Or are they just the help coming back to... Because when that lady said that, I was like, nah. Of course she gonna say something like that because you're white. So, of course you don't think this is their house that you are in. Girl, please. Girl, please. You know they don't think we deserve luxury, but we're not even gonna get into that today. So, homegirl, what's her name? Amanda. The mom, the white mom, comes downstairs and she goes, who's at the door? Because she made the man go down the stairs. He didn't even want to go downstairs, first of all. He was a punk. He was a sis. I couldn't take it. I really couldn't take it. So, long story short, I'm trying not to make this too long. The man says there's something going on in the city and it just made sense for him to come straight home. Because he, 
he didn't know what else to do. He works in the business for really wealthy businessmen and what else does he say? He just works for like whoever he works for, they really freaked him out. He puts things together, he calculates things and he determines stuff that goes on in the world. And he put this together and he know whatever finna happen is not finna be good and he need to be home when it do happen, period. So they were like, what do you mean? What's happening? What's going on? And the wife was like, she was heavy on, how do we know this is their house? Like, how do we know this is their house? The man goes, well, I have the keys. I could have used the keys to open the door, but I didn't want to scare you guys. I was with the daughter. The daughter was like, why the fuck is we knocking on our own house door? <laughs> I'm ruthless and I'm reckless. I'm going inside. What's up? This is my house. Get out. So, movie would have been over with real quick. Y'all could go to the basement in the extra room and sleep on cots because we finna take our house back and you could get your refund. Homeboy offered them a refund and he said, y'all don't have to go nowhere. But the lady was so skeptical. She was so rude. She was actually, she was a Karen. She did her job. It was Julia Roberts and I never not, I never seen something where I didn't like her. But I was like, I don't know who this is, but I don't like her. I'm not feeling her. I'm really not feeling her. I don't know. And I, I was like, this is not Julia Roberts. I was like, wait a minute, halfway through, I was like, I finally got it. This is Julia Roberts. <laughs> this is Julia Roberts. I was like, oh, she doing her thing. She doing her thug fizzle in this movie. Cause I really could not stand her. I was like, mm. Okay, of course she would say something like that. Of course she would think something like that. And the way that her and GH's daughter, GH's daughter clocked her off rip. The way she was like, chat please, this is my house. Mm. It ain't for whatever you think finna happen, it's not. This ain't that, period. So, girl, long story short, every, a sequence of events starts to happen that are so, that's so crazy. Like deer start coming out of nowhere and not just two deer, not three, four, five, 50, 11 deer just be out there standing and staring. Like that's weird. And the daughter tried to say something about everything that was happening, but they just kept brushing her off. The brother just kept telling her to shut up and go sit down somewhere. And he kept calling her stupid. That's why I kept saying, when what happened ha when what happened happened to him i was glad because he was also a pervert because they had to share the house like i said they ended up letting them stay because he unlocked the liquor cabinet with his key and the lady was like what if he's the janitor and she's the maid and they want to come back and rob the house da 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 i was like you know what i would think that about anybody <laughs> cuz i'm sus like that i'm so suspicious of any and everything but you would think that about them. Hmm, okay. That's why your son got his teeth snatched out. But anyway, <laughs> I don't know what had happened, but there was some type of freaking crazy frequency, or I don't know if it was the fact that he got bit by a tick when he, he and his sister was walking in the woods. But he woke up one morning, his teeth fell out, girl. And I was like, hmm. You see what happened when you run your mouth? Your teeth fall out. <laughs> he was just so mean to his sister and I couldn't take it. So I was like, that's what you get. I was like, that's what you get. And the way he was taking pictures of that man's daughter, GH's daughter, he was taking pictures of her booty while she wasn't looking, being a pervert, going in his room, under, going actually going in their room because it wasn't even their house, under they covers, jacking, pulling and bopping his twist book. Nasty, nasty little man. Mm, mm, mm. But my thing is, my favorite part of the movie, which is something that people really cannot stand, is the fact that how it ended. I love how it ended. It ended with them looking for Rosie, Rosie in her happy place, because the only thing she really cared about, and she said that from jump, I just want to see the ending of France. The world is ending. She found the bunker. <laughs> Rosie found the bunker, y'all. Everybody looking for Rosie. Rosie done walked half a mile up the road and found a bunker in somebody else's house. Mind you, GH was telling them eventually that he worked for some really powerful people. And 
they always joke about how there's an evil cabal, a, a evil, evil cabal or something like that. I don't know what it is. Evil cabal that runs the world. And what really scared him is the fact that when he was meeting with one of his wealthy clients or a lot of his wealthy clients recently or lately, they've been taking money out, moving money and just taking money out in lump sums and they are saying farewells and stuff like that to him. And it's just really crazy and scary. But I said all that to say, girl, I'm not mad at Rosie. Rosie went somewhere and, and sat down like her brother kept telling her to do, get out of my face and go sit down somewhere. She went and found the bunker that everybody seemed to need. And that's just that on that. She kept trying to tell y'all these deer, these deer is acting funny and weird. We need to check on that. Nobody listened to her. She kept telling y'all, I keep seeing this and, and hearing that. Nobody was checking on her, period. She got what she wanted and the world ended. I don't know if the, we don't even know if the world ended or not. But what really freaks me out though is that they say that the Obamas had a, a um, hand in writing this. And Michelle had just came out with something up saying how the stuff that she know it really keeps her up at night. Now, I done said too much. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. Go, go, go. I'm gone. I done said too much. Don't come get me. I love y'all. I see y'all in my next video. Oh, girl. My next video is going to be a fashion Nova haul. And then... <clears throat> Ooh, I told y'all I wanna, <coughs> but after my fashion overhaul, I'm packing my suitcase. So it's gonna be a pack with me for my cruise. Everything you need for a cruise, honey, I'll be showing you. So thank you so much for watching this video. Hit me up down in the comments and let's talk about this movie because I actually liked it. I hope I gave y'all enough, enough details about the movie. I don't know, but I'll see you in my, ooh. God, you know I'm sensitive. I can't be doing that, that hurt it. Mm. I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later. Bye. Ooh, I also have a maintenance vlog coming. Stay tuned for my maintenance vlog, girl. I'll see y'all later. Bye.